Hello, 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 and welcome again. This is your Uncle Nedu. <laughs> and this is your Auntie Osioma. <laughs> yes, Uncle and Auntie. We are here to talk to you about the things that your parents would have loved to talk to you, and either they couldn't, or they knew that if they spoke to you, you wouldn't listen. But <laughs> <laughs> as Uncle and Auntie, you have no choice but to listen to us. All right, having said that, welcome to... Love Divine Relationship uh, <laughs> Forum, where we uh, try to show that uh, the Lord's plan for us is to have a wonderful relationship, marital relationship. That's what it's about, right? Correct. I don't think anybody gets into a marriage looking for problems. But as you know, if you're already married, problems do come up sometimes. Correct. If you haven't gone in already, especially you young folks. <laughs> It always starts beautifully, but believe me, believe me, there are things to watch out for in the beginning that will help you mm -hmm. have a loving and awesome relationship so that when the storm comes, you're able to handle it. Today, mm -hmm. we want to talk about one of those things, mm -hmm. and that thing that we want to concentrate on today is the flaws, flaws that happen, or flaws that we bring into a relationship. Everybody brings a flaw into a relationship. All right. Except me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm perfect Flawless. in all my ways. Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, on a more serious note, this is a very important aspect of a relationship, how we handle flaws. And uh, I want to start today by saying that, yes, you know, we all have flaws, but there are levels of flaws that we shouldn't allow ourselves to deal with. Correct. Now, today, to be exact, we're talking about the other person's flaw, not your own flaw. I want us to understand that. Mm -hmm. Our focus today is on how do you handle the other person's flaw? What are flaws? Faults, deficiencies, uh, character weaknesses. How do we handle it? And uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's something that we should look into in the beginning, even before we say, I do. Yes, of course, of course. Um, you, it, it's um, it, it's encouraged that you don't go into marriage with your eyes closed, blindfolded. You ought to watch out for things. This is the most uh, uh, important decision of your life, apart from deciding to come to the Lord. This very decision is very important. And so you can't just go in blindfolded. You have to watch out for certain things. You have to take care of certain things as much as you can. I mean, again, you know we are not God. Yes. We can't see all things. But there are things we see. Correct. And yeah. we can't just overlook those things in mm -hmm. the niche. Say, oh, well, when I get in, I'll fix it. Or mm -hmm. when we get in, we'll deal with it. Believe us when we say it doesn't get <laughs> easier doesn't get easier there are things that we have to make sure that we are comfortable with mm -hmm. we're able to deal with if you feel like something is going to be hard for you to deal with regarding the other person's uh, character or flaw you should seriously think about not getting into that relationship no matter how you know, infatuated you are that's, that's my opinion. I don't yes, know. yes, yes, yes. There are red flags, you know. There are there are things that um, are not uh, negotiable. There are things that are negotiable. But when you when you're talking about, let's say, a person who is very dishonest or manipulative or does not communicate properly, or um, you know, someone who is insecure. You know, or somebody who is um, dishonest. Uh, Those kind of things you have to, we have to be able to address to a reasonable extent before you I'll, get into, I'll make into sure, the marriage. I'll make sure that you can handle it because we all deal with stuff differently. There, are, one person can handle somebody who is dishonest. <laughs> yeah, more than the other person. Somebody can handle somebody who is, um, uh, um, for example. Uh, uh, controlling not clean okay right and, and somebody can handle so we all handle things differently the point yes. is 
you have to know what you're capable of handling and what you can't handle yeah. and when you realize that this is the part that i really can deal with this is why it's difficult to say this particular issue is what you should watch out for right all because right. There are, we all handle things differently some people can handle somebody who is uh, controlling somebody some people can will not even stand a chance with somebody who is controlling all right so the point is i think that uh, whatever it is that uh, that flaw is, is the more reason why we should spend time knowing one another before we say I do. I believe in spending time knowing each other. Okay, so having said that, again, I'm saying we are not God. There is so much we can see about somebody's flaws. Remember, when we are dating, we always bring our best food forward. We kind of mask our flaws. So it's not exhibited uh, the way it becomes uh, obvious when you get married. Because when you are married to a person, you are with the person 24-7. There is no place to hide. And so you're dealing with the person. You're dealing with life issues. You're dealing with life with the person. And the full manifestation of that person begins to show up. So what you thought you had tolerance for or how much tolerance you thought you had before becomes like time ten. So uh, are you saying that, okay, now because I've married you, I have no choice but to become uh, the dumping ground or to deal with such well, that know, takes, that would obvious take us, issues? That would take us to the next level and that is the level of somebody who is already in relationship. You're already married. So okay. there's, there's nothing else you can do now. You're already, <laughs> you're in it. Now, when those flaws start showing up, mm -hmm. how do we handle it? Yeah, we can't say, oh, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. You know, uh, you know, some people will say after 30 something years, they say, I can't take it anymore. Well, you took it for 30 something years. Uh, so my point is, <laughs> my point is, we have to recognize that we have flaws. We have flaws. And we should be able to prepare for those things. Again, no matter how we hide our flaws, if we spend enough time with each other for some time, it's bound to creep out once in a while. It might not come out in its fullness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The intensity of it, you will not really see because you're not with the person all the time right, right so so when something happens a little bit you see it you observe it you don't like it you talk about it okay i'm sorry blah 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 but then it happens does again it, 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 are, it may yeah, happen again but it may not happen you know yeah. it depends yeah. but um but even if it happens maybe the person quickly apologizes or and all that but there is no uh, change in the character to stop it, right? Mm -hmm. But I know that you said once you get married, you really need to deal with it in marriage. In other words, don't check out of the marriage because you are now married. But I, don't, don't I be don't... quick. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying don't be quick to check out. And again, we're talking about how to protect the marriage now. Yes. Right. Uh, the scripture will say as much as we can as much as it lies in our hands yeah. we should make peace with, with make one peace another with, that's the point of that you can only make peace with something you're able to handle some people can't handle things. That's some, we all have things that uh, we can endure more, better than the other person yes everybody's tolerance uh, uh, pain tolerance is different yeah. I get that so I let, get let, that let me let me jump into it because we're gonna stop now before we stay too long well but I also don't believe a person should be held hostage yeah you understand mm -hmm. I believe one should draw boundaries this is something I cannot take any I can't take this anymore to protect myself we're talking about the same thing draw the boundaries learn try to draw the boundaries in the beginning sometimes before we get married some of the problem is some of us have issues the reason why we want to get married oh maybe the clock is ticking oh my <laughs> parents said this oh my friends are doing this oh blah 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 you want to and you say I will draw that boundary later. Right now, I want to get married. No, we don't do that. You, yes, you, yes. you look at everything in the beginning. We go to counseling, and uh, we'll be talking about all kinds of stuff. The person's past history and stuff like that. 
Well, sometimes we should be looking at who is this person now and where is he going or where is she going? That's that's the way I look at it. Well, I get that, but the past <laughs> history always leaks out into the present and sometimes they they dictate uh, the way some people or people live their lives. Exactly. So you can't you can't you can't uh, deal with the present without delving into the past to see what is causing the I, problem I, I the present. You. I'm not saying we shouldn't deal with the past. I'm saying that sometimes <laughs> we focus so much on the past we're not looking at what the person has become, you know. Correct. After all, as Christians, it says all things are passed away. If you mm -hmm. become born again, truly changed, your life changed, people should not hold you on your past history. So this is this is when we now talk about character building. Yeah. Well, right? here, as we round <laughs> up now, as we round up, we're talking about the flaws of the other person. We have to keep our eyes, make sure that, we are able to handle what we see. Like you said, we can't see everything. Yes. What about the one we see? see. Are, we, are we purposely still going in when we know we're not comfortable with it? But when we are in already, mm -hmm. right, we have to deal with it. Romans chapter 15, verses 1 and 2 said, We who are strong ought to bear with the feelings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each mm. of us should please our neighbor for they are good to build them up. Mm. So now you're already in. We're already mm. in. Mm -hmm. This is not the time to be saying, oh, 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 I need to get out. You have to try. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are deal breakers. Yes. But you, you didn't get into your relationship to be uh, sad, to be miserable. Mm -hmm. The Lord that lets you get in wants to bless you with the best possible relationship marriage that you can have mm -hmm. that's what we believe and that's mm -hmm. what we we try to bring to you that it is possible to have a, an awesome relationship but yeah. you have to go in with your eyes open correct yeah. and i also like the scripture that says uh, we should always be humble and 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 gentle be patient with each other that we should make allowance for each other's fault because of love because of love okay so so it's because of love that we try to make allowance for each other's fault so, you know? so what are we saying today i'm saying don't go in if you think there's an issue with the character and you're yes. saying well i'm saying yes i believe that but i'm saying when you go in already and you find out that this is what it is now still work on it you understand work on it but place some boundaries you know some because boundaries. yes yes have some boundaries because you cannot be held hostage and become a dumping ground because okay. you're married okay. or in a relationship with that <laughs> with that i want we want you to well we want you to tell us what you think <laughs> tell us what you think about this subject about concerning the other person's flaws, not your own flaw, but the yes. other person's flaw, how you should deal with it. You mean your flaw? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the only thing is I don't have any flaws. <laughs> All right, yeah, we want, to, we want to finish today with a prayer because we know this is a serious matter. Yes. And uh, we want to believe God that uh, whatever uh, situation you find yourself in a relationship, remember how it started, God can still fix it. Mm -hmm. If you haven't yet got that gun in, God will give you the best possible one that will not have very serious issues. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for putting us in relationship. We pray that we will hear clearly, we will see properly, and that we will not entangle ourselves with the wrong person. That the person who is looking or hearing this now will not entangle his or herself with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. And if it happens that he or she is already in a relationship that is uh, with a lot of issues, we pray for your mercy, yes. for for help to yes. fix this the situation. Amen. And we trust by faith that you will fix it. That is the reason he or she is listening today. Amen. It does. Bless every relationship that is part of this today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen. 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 All right. This is your uncle Nidu again. And this is Oziyama saying, like us, follow us, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for being part of this family. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you family. later.